If you have only a few bars on your chart, it might be worth adding data labels to your chart rather than have a vertical axis. I much prefer to use data labels because I always want to know the exact size of the bars rather than having to eyeball it from the vertical axis. To add data labels, just right click on a data series and click Add Data Labels. To see the data labels clearly, I'll need to select them and change their color to white. The data labels are determined by the vertical axis of your chart. Currently, the vertical axis shows millions, therefore my data labels are shown in millions as well. If I change my vertical axis to say thousands, by changing the display unit, the labels will change accordingly. I'll now switch this back to millions. If we'd like to show the data labels in millions but with one decimal point, we can select the data label, right click and format data labels. I'll then go to number, switch the number category and then reduce the decimal places to one and then close. And as you can see, we now have a data label in millions but with one decimal point. Let's now repeat this for the second data category. So I'll right click on the series, add data labels, change the color to white, and then right click, format data labels, go to number, and include one decimal point. And off camera, I'll repeat for the last two data series. So that we don't have to perform this action for future charts, I'll select the chart and also save this as a template, which will save my data labels in this format. And I'll simply save over the existing template that we saved in a previous lesson. If I now want to apply this template to another chart, I'll select that chart, go to Change Chart Type, Templates, and select my template. This moves the labels to the middle of the bar, it puts the axis in millions, and it makes sure that the color is the same as the bottom color in my original chart. Now that we have the labels in place, we can remove the axis because it doesn't really serve a purpose. To change the position of a label, again we'll select the labels, right click, and format data labels. And in the label position option, we can put the label inside the end, inside the base, or at the center. Typically for stacked column charts, we'll leave the label at the center. If you'd like to put the label on top of the bar, unfortunately the stacked column chart won't do. We'll need to change the chart type to the clustered column chart. So I'll escape, right click, change chart type, and select the clustered column chart. Now I'll select my data labels, right click, and format data labels. And here we have an option for outside end under position. I'll select it and then click close. I'll now change the color of my labels to a dark blue. And now we have the labels positioned above the bars just as we'd like. Sometimes you may need to change the position of one particular label, particularly if the bar is very small. To do this, simply select all the labels by clicking once and isolate the label by clicking twice. You can now move this label within the chart to a position that suits your needs. I'll now undo with Control Z. For charts with less than 10 data points, I find labels to be more useful than a vertical axis. Consider using them the next time you have a chart of this type.